What's happening guys, Safety Liner C2 here. So, um, I'm sure that many of you guys know that uh, I am a Boy Scout. And my main collection is my buses, which are back there, right over there. Um, but I also collect Scout Patches, so I thought I'd share, you, or, uh, share with you my Scout Patches and various different Scouting memorabilia, because some of it is pretty cool. Um, I, I find this stuff really, really cool. Um, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. So, uh, first off, we'll just start off with what is right here, which is the basic um, standard issue type stuff. Um, so, we have the shoulder applets. If it'll focus, I need to put it in manual focus now. So, these are the old, uh, there's, I have two different sets of applets. So I have the red applets because I started off whenever uh, Scouts was still in the old type of red. And then I have the green applets, which are what we have now. Um, now, the reason the green ones aren't on is because I wear silver applets, which are right there, because I work for uh, council. Not really work for council, but um, I do a lot of various different things. I'm on the LEC for council. Um, for our OA, so if any of you guys know what that means, then, uh, yeah. Okay, just some various different patches. Um, here's a life patch. Let me do adjust the camera again. Um, here's a life patch, second class, tenderfoot, another tenderfoot, a, another, or here's a scout patch, and that's that. Um, a position patch, too actually assistant senior patrol leader patches because um, that's what I served as for a very very long time um, for about three years I served as an assistant senior patrol leader um, I have some quality unit patches so I have the Centennial 2010 one and then I also have um, 2008 ones I have two of those um, here are some older merit badges. I believe this one is Indian lore. That's the cooking merit badge. Um, and these are from the 90s. Here is um, emergency preparedness. Um, or, I'm sorry, that's environmental science. And these are all, uh, let's see, this one is from 1992. So, um, let's see. Uh, here's a first class thing. There's no patch in there, but... This is the pioneering merit badge right here. This is a shotgun right there. Let's see, and there's here's a rifle. Let's see, here is a patrol leader patch and a second class patch, or not a patch, but just the card. And there's actually a card behind it. I just realized that now. Um, let's see what this other card is. Oh, it's an old Arrow of Light patch. That's cool. Um, here is one of the old Scout badges. And for those of you who like aren't really into Scout stuff, this is what it is now. So those are this is the new one, and that's the old one. So just for comparison. And then here's a Tenderfoot one, and this is a new one, and this is an older one, but still pretty much the same thing. Um, so, putting that aside, I'm going to go ahead and move the camera over, just so um, you guys can see a little bit better. Okay. And here we go. Okay. Now, let's see what is up next. What category shall I choose? Let's see, I need to just rotate it a little bit. There we go. Okay, let's do some uh, just various different patches that I have. Um, here is an old day camp patch right here. Okay, from the WD Boys Council, which I believe is in Mississippi. And all of those older patches that I was just showing you also came from this council too. So, there's that one. Here's a... Pow Wow for OA. So, 
Let's see. I don't know what this one is. It's definitely an anniversary patch, though. Uh, 25 years. So that might be the OA um, Lodge. Here is a parade one, parade patch. Let's see. And then, oh, okay, so Ingersoll might, is a place, I guess. So, there's that. Okay, some other various patches. Um, Shack Jam. Okay, the council I am in is uh, Shack, which is same Houston area council. I'm not afraid to give that out. Um, but in 2010, 2010 was the centennial year for Boy Scouts, and Shack held a big celebration where we set the world record for the most rockets launched at one time. So I guess they were providing the rockets. So um, Here is a 100 years of scouting patch. Uh, for Sam Houston Area Council, once again. So that is Baden-Powell. There is an eagle right there, some fireworks, uh, the scouting badge. Um, here is just a, this isn't a supposed to be worn just for a display patch, um, but the BSA 2010 logo with a gold outline on it. Um, I'll get back to that one in a second. The El Rancho Sima Death March patch from a while back, maybe five years ago I got that. Um, Scout Fair 2010, so right right there, it says Centennial 2010, um, Super Salesman for Popcorn, which I guess I was into popcorn back then, but I don't really do that now, because it's I don't like doing it, and I've got plenty of other fundraisers I can do. Um, let's see, here's another shack, or uh, another Scout Fair one from 2009. May, I don't think I was a super salesman, but I just picked it up anyway. Um, see, Crime Prevention Award. I don't know where this one came from, but... Um, while we're just doing various different awards, uh, this is one from Band, which I'm supposed to put on my letter jacket. Um, so there's... I made the Region Band and district so it goes like that but they're two separate patches so and those are supposed to go on my letter jacket but i just don't put those on and those just go back there um let's see grand canyon national park from arizona i have a few arizona patches that my mom has gotten me or my grandma whichever one because grandma lives out there and my mom goes out there so uh here's another one Bryce Canyon National Park. Um, let's see. While we're on Arizona, or actually this one's New Mexico. I don't know, it's New Mexico or Arizona, I can't remember. Um, but Pima Marie, which is basically scouts from uh, New Mexico, Arizona, one of the two. I can't, they look the same to me, guys. I can't remember. And, um, no, it, it's it's Arizona. Yeah, it is Arizona. What am I thinking? Um, so scouts from Arizona and Mexico get together and they basically celebrate. And here is a patch that they received from last year's. So I guess they were selling some extra ones and I got that one. Um, let's see. Scout Fair from 1995. Here's another one, another one of the same patch. This one's not as thick though, oh, it's a lot thinner than the other one. Um, now these two right here, um, these two are basically the same, well they are the same thing, but um, this is from the Centennial 2010, and basically we would, you would get five different uh, awards and you would get these awards, and I have a few back here, and you would put them on here like this. So this one is from Shack Jam, and there was one for, um, let's see, I have them on my uniform. Scout fair and camping and all these various different activities. So they would just go like that, and then, yeah. And then um, Sam Houston Area Council had their centennial uh, last year in 2014, and they handed out another one of these stars. It was a different design, but then they gave us different 
uh, patches so it would look like this with a different star but it was still a star so um, here is the scouting for food one I have this shack jam one I have a camping one um, I have another camping one from last year and then I have a scout for one which I think I already showed you but right there okay um, let's see what else do I have okay let's see let's go back to some uh, council patches so as I was saying just a minute ago Sam Houston Area Council had their centennial so this was our centennial patch so that one's pretty cool I like that uh, the design of it um, let's see this one is the Voyagers Area Council which I got this one up at Northern Tier so Northern Tier is in this council and uh, it serves part of Minnesota uh, uh, Wisconsin and Michigan I assume since it has those three states on there so that's pretty cool um, a Catalina Council one from Arizona as I was saying earlier and a Grand Canyon Council okay um, let's get over into this mess right here okay uh, this one I just actually got last night um, this is the 2015 shack day camp patch um, and day camp is uh, something I volunteer for every year and I got this patch for it even though it hasn't happened yet so I got my patch a little bit early since I'm special so that's the design of it pretty cool and I'm, I'm probably gonna put that on my uniform so I'll put that aside um, let's see northern tier I believe this is a participant patch I have two of these it's one of these is the participant okay one of these is the participant patch I believe it's this one right here but uh, and then one of them is a souvenir patch cannot remember but they're the same design one of them has a yellow border and one of them has a red border so um, let's see this is from whenever I lived back in Maryland I don't know what that is but I know what Six Flags is let's see here's another day camp patch from last year so didn't really like this one but still let's see my first year at summer camp I went to Buffalo Trail Scout Ranch so 2008 that's a cool design right there is a circle H which is one of the high adventure things they do there um, and here's a you can't really tell but right there there's kind of a squiggly design and I believe that was their other one because they had two so uh, I went to Buffalo Trails and then I've also done that one in 2012 I think 2013 2012 I can't remember uh, let's see here's another day camp patch from 2009 let's see um, a scout fair patch from 2013 let's see here's a northern tier patch again for the winter expedition thing and that was a hundred or not a hundred what is that uh, 50 yeah I don't know 40 40 years oh gosh I I'm tired guys as you can tell so it's got an interesting color it comes off more of a blue on on the uh, screen but it's really more of a green color so it's pretty cool um, let's see winter camp from 2010 25 years of them doing winter camp so let's see here's a summer camp patch from this past year at Cockrell River Camp at El Rancho Sima 60th anniversary of that being open here's that Circle H thing I was talking about Buffalo Trails and I actually just noticed now for the first time but right here on this H it says 
um, established 1947. I never realized that, so that's pretty cool. Um, here's another one of those patches. I have, a, I have a double of a couple. Here's another day camp patch. I believe this was, oh, that's 2011 right there. Um, here's my second year at summer camp from Camp Thunder, um, and we're actually going to go back this year, so I can't wait because it was an awesome camp. So, um, here's a northern tier patch. Let's see, a little rancher of SEMA. I have a few of those. So, there's one. There's another one. Um, let's see, Lost Maples State. So I have one, two of those. So um, let's see, Scout Fair 2011. If you remember at the beginning of the video, I was saying about the uh, world record from Shack Jam where we launched rockets. Here's a patch for that. Um, NYLT patch. I am officially NYLT, NYLT trained um, by Sam Houston Area Council, so I got a patch. So here is a um, El Rancho SEMA patch from 2010. That's River Camp right there, RC. Um, here is a Winter Camp patch from 2009. And if you actually look, if you look at that star, if you remember, does it look familiar? Hmm. I just noticed that. Um, here's a 2012 day camp patch. Uh, it says 2012 right there. So this is a. I didn't really like this one. But just kind of weird to me. Here's my favorite day camp patch. Uh, 2013. It's a unique design. It's kind of a circle with holes in there. Um, I believe it's supposed to be like this, but I have heard that it's, uh, that it's not, and it's supposed to be all one piece. But either way, um, I think it's really cool, and I wear this on my uniform a lot because it's really, really cool. I like the design of this one, so I think it's cool. Um, let's see. I'm a winter camper, I guess. Um, here's another Scout Fair patch from 2009. I got, I showed you guys the blue one earlier, but here's a red variant of it. Um, Texas A&M Merit Badge University. I attended that once. So I have one. Here's two. Um, let's see. Here's a winter camp patch from 2008. This was my first year there. And then you could also do various different activities there to get more parts of it. So here's one for service and it would go right there. Here's one for iceberg. If it got under a certain temperature, it would go on there. And one for finding the super gator. It was basically like a scavenger hunt that you did every day. So I got three of those, and I don't know what the fourth one was, but basically it goes like that. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, here's another one of those patches. Like I said, I have I have a couple of these, and I really like those. Um, let's see. Here is... I don't know what this one is. This must have been a Weeblow's Woods patch. But I don't know. Here's another day camp patch I showed you all already. Um, Pedernales State Falls, or Pedernales Falls State Park. Um, Northern Tier, we paddled 75 miles, so we got that award. Also, uh, let's see, I believe this one is a Scout Fair 2012, and I believe the World Crest is supposed to go right there so you're supposed to put that around the world crest i'm not sure um let's see Oops. okay northern tier back patch 
Okay, so that's pretty cool. And then another, this one has a kind of an interesting story behind it. It's, it's supposed to be a back patch, but that someone accidentally put the loop on there so you can wear it as a normal patch. So I have worn this because one of my friends also has a very big patch and I, he had had that before I got this. So we, uh, we would wear it and just like try and like, oh, I have the bigger patch, you know. It's pretty big, it's about the size of my hand, so. Uh, one of my favorite patches, I, I like showing that off. But, um, let's see, what else do I have? OA patches, I have a lot, I don't have a lot of these, but the ones I do are kind of cool. Uh, here's a Papago Lodge, which is from Arizona. This one is really, really cool, I like this one. Um, so it's Ceremony Team, right there. <clears throat> So, and I am the ceremony team leader, so I find this one extremely cool. So, I like that one. And that's a back patch also. Um, let's see. The 2015 Kalani Lodge 137 Executive Committee, because I am on that. I am on the Executive Committee. Um, before that, I was actually on the Lodge Committee. So, here's a black patch. Same basic thing, but I was on here before I got moved to executive committee just a couple months after. Um, let's see. This is from Arrowman Bash 2013. Actually, let me show you this one first because um, you can actually see. And it didn't come with a thing, so I like attached a red piece of string on there and it doesn't really work out, but I don't really care. Um, so, Kalani Lodge, Arrowman Bash 2013. And the theme was Catching Fire since the Hunger Games had just came out. Um, or something like that. It's one of those. Um, and then I was on ceremony team for that. So, um, I had one of my friends give me a staff one since I was technically staffing it. So this is a ghost version of it. And for those of you who don't know what a ghost version is, it's basically the same exact design. Everything is in one color. So everything, all the words are still there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but, um, I can see it pretty well. It's, it's the same thing. Same words, same everything, just in all black. So these are pretty common, these ghost patches. Um, so they do them with all different types of patches and they're basically like celebration patches, I guess. Um, let's see. Here's a Spring Fellowship patch from 2010. So wild wings and shiny things. Okay, there's that. Um, Let's see, I didn't go to this, but I still got patches for it because I, I have inside people like that. Um, 2014 Pow Wow. So I thought this, I think this is a cool design. Um, let's see, now we're moving in, or actually, no, I forgot about these. Um, Spring Fellowship. So there's that. It was the weekend of uh, April Fools, as you can see. Um, it's from 2011, just fooling around. And then, of course, a had the upside down variant of it. And yes, they did it on purpose because it is April Fools. So I have two of those. I think what I might do one time is put this one on and then the next week show up with this one on to see if anyone notices. So that'd be interesting. Now moving into actual um, lodge patches. Let's see. Um, I'll start off with this one. This one is a jamboree patch. So this is the top of it. Uh, this is the 2013 Jamboree patch, so it's a Tyrannosaurus Rex, a T-Rex, and then the bottom part would be this, so Order of the Arrow, BSA, Kalani, Shaq, 2013 Jambo, and then whenever you put it together, it shows that, so that's pretty cool, I like that patch, but I didn't go to Jambo, but you could have, you can still order these. Um, here's a really, really cool NOAC patch from NOAC 2009, um, I really, really like this raven right down here. It says WWW, um, which it says that on all of these patches if you really do look. Um, actually, it doesn't say it on this one. I just, oh, yeah, it does. What am I thinking? WWW. Um, and there were, two uh, there were two variants of this. There's this kind of like darker design, and there was a one with this, uh, the raven with a black, and instead of this being... Uh, blue it was red so it was red and I believe this uh, lettering was black um, 
So my friend has that one. So um, let's see. Here's another Noak patch from our lodge from 2006. So that's a really cool design. I like that one. Um, here's a Noak patch from 2012, and I ordered this one online because, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. That's the character I play, Mateu, whenever I do ceremonies. Um, no act 2012, no act 2012. Ceremonies team staff, and you're not supposed to wear this, and I really can't because it's all one piece. Um, you're not supposed to wear this just as for decoration, but still, since I play that character, I thought it'd be really, really cool to have it. So they have four different variants of these patches, and there's, there's this blue one, uh, there's a purple one, uh, um, a red one, and I believe a green one, if I'm not mistaken. So... Uh, that these are pretty cool and then uh, some last but not least here is our old standard lodge patch that was uh, for about 15 years or so they had this one um, we have our new standard patch that is our new standard Kalani lodge patch so it's the same basic thing as you guys can see our lodge isn't very like creative I guess I don't want to say not creative, but I don't know. And then, since this year is the 100th year of the OA, we of course have a special edition patch. Um, so that's that. And there are two versions of this one. There's this uh, white, white and red one. And then it there's one variant that I don't have yet, but I'm going to be getting. Um, it has red on the inside and white on the outside. All this uh, lettering is in white. Um, this these numbers are in a darker red, I believe. So uh, I like I personally like that one. So I'm gonna buy two more of these and uh, two more or two of the other ones whenever I get the chance. So uh, let me show you my uh, patches on my uniform now. This is my current uniform, and that's the patch that is on there. Let me uh, try and focus it some more. And uh, that's that's is about as focused as it's gonna get. So. Uh, I like that patch. It's cool. Don't ever see those. And then uh, that's my position patch. So, let's see. There's my life patch. Here's some other various different things in there. I think they're supposed to go right there, but that's that. Here is my current patch, my current OA patch. So, I like that one. That one came out in 2013. And I just got this uniform redone not too long ago. Um, so it doesn't have the 2010 logo, or the 2015 one. And there's that. Silver uplets. Um, let's see. This is my old uniform. I was senior patrol leader once and never took it off. And then up here we have that. That was our, uh, that was the 2010 Centennial one. And there was... There was supposed to be, okay, sorry about that, but there was supposed to be different variants of this uh, gold and blue and all that, but uh, they misprinted something and they were only able to get this red one. Um, here is that. Here was the 2010 patch, and even now, these are the standard patches from, uh, if people do their ordeals, this is what they're getting, which I don't really understand since they weren't in the OA in 2010, so I think that's kind of unfair. Um, there's my world crest, and that's pretty much it on that one. Um, so, time to show you some other stuff that I have. So, I'm pretty sure that you guys know that I'm a pretty big hat person, so uh, I have I also have some hats too. Uh, this one is pretty cool. This one shows all of the camps in our, uh, in our council, so there's uh, the Grand Lake, there's um, Camp Barosig, Bove Scout Ranch, Camp Strake, which just got retired this past year, Cockrell River Camp, um, or no, that's, uh, that's River Camp, um, I can't remember, that's Horseshoe Bend, and that one will come to me sooner or later, I can't remember what it is off the top of my mind now, um, but I wore it a lot for marching band, so it's got that kind of hole on there, um, here's a camo hat. I'm not a real big camo person, but I still bought the hat because it was cool. Um, same Houston Area Council, 100th anniversary, 1914-2014. It has a Texas flag down there. 
Um, let's see, what else? Buffalo Trail Scout Ranch, that hat. I also have another one out in my truck, but I just keep it there just in case I ever need a hat. That's kind of pretty much the same design. Um, BSA 2010 hat, so I got that then. Uh, this was almost 2010, and this is actual leather right here, so I wore that hat a lot. Um, nice hat. Here's an L Rancher SEMA hat. I wore that for marching band a lot too. Um, let's see. Here's an older hat that I never actually wore because it wasn't mine. A Bove Scout Ranch hat. That's pretty cool. I have another hat somewhere, but Lord knows where it is. So uh, let's let me show you all some other various things. All right. So here is a uh, old water canteen. This is pretty cool. Um, I believe this is from the 60s. And this is. That's actual metal in there, not plastic. It has the old BSA logo on it. Um, see, here are some of just, I have two belts. I, I thought I had more, but I guess I don't. Um, I have one belt. I had a 2010 belt, which I used to wear every now and then, but uh, I don't know what happened to it. And then the belt that I wear pretty much every day to keep up my jeans or my pants or whatever is this Northern Tier belt. So northern tier high adventure and it just repeats that design the whole way through so that's pretty cool time to get on to all this stuff right here um let's see this is a kalani lodge uh neckerchief these are all neckerchiefs with a kalani lodge patch don't normally wear that one um hardly ever this is an old troop neckerchief so it basically just repeats this yellow design right here um, the whole way through until you get to this BSA logo, which it unfolds, but right there. Um, let's see. Um, these are also old neckerchiefs. I haven't opened these in a, in a while, so um, it's all green except for that logo right there. This red one that you're seeing right here, this is practically the same design as that green one. Um, the green and yellow one except for this is red and yellow so here's an old cub scout one pretty standard even now it's still standard um here's just a red one with the bsa logo on it here's another old one uh another old cub scout one this is let's see you gotta open it up now Let's see. Man, I don't know if you guys can hear, but my brothers are down or loud downstairs. So there's that one. Here's some old hats. I've always wanted these. Um, and they're pretty cool, but they uh they're hats and they just go in there. Your head goes in there at least. So got a scouting logo on there. Another old one. Let's see. Let's see, and then two of these. This one and that one, they're the same thing. Here's an old merit badge sash. Um, so, there's that. That's pretty cool. This is an older one. Um, some old scout books. Let's see. Um, here's an old scout books. I believe this is from the 70s. Let's look. The date's on the inside. Uh, 7th edition, 5th printing. 1969. So that's pretty cool. This is from the 80s and 90s. This is before my time still. Um, so let's, um, come on, where is it? Looking for the date for you guys. Uh, 1990, so, not the 80s, but it is the 90s, so. Um, anyway, this was my old one from the early 2000s, so, 
The date in this one is, come on. Um, 98, so this was my time, but yeah, okay, let's see. Okay, these are real old scout books. I believe this is the oldest one I have right here. They're not in the best condition, but that's how I got them. So this one is 1932, so this is pretty old. Um, but still, these are in, these are really cool, and I like flipping through these every now and then. I believe this one's from the 40s right here. 40s or 50s. And it will be from, let's see... 1948 so now these two books right here are books about scouts I guess these would be sold at summer camp um, and my brother's calling me but I just ended it um, so let's see this book is from 1912 so just a few years after scouting started and then um, they're calling me and they're not going to stop. Let's see, this one is from... Let's see. I don't even know. Um, let's see, yeah, my phone keeps on going off, so... Okay, so that's pretty much it. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed watching this. Um, something different just for you guys. So yeah guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe right down here. It's a magical red button that says you are now subscribed to Safety Liner C2. Make sure you comment up here, down here, over here, over here. I don't know where they put it down, I don't care where they put it. Make sure you also give this video a thumbs up or you're going to be able to like these books. And make sure you also share this video with a friend. Show it to your mom, show it to your dad, show it to a guy on a random street. I don't care. Don't get raped. Hiccups now. Great. So uh, yeah guys, thanks for watching.